Have you ever wondered what if we could change our organs ourselves? Picture it. Your heart, your kidneys, your lungs, all customizable, all replaceable, all in your control. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But hold on to your skepticism for a moment. The idea of changing our own organs is not as far-fetched as it may seem. Thanks to the relentless pursuit of knowledge in the fields of medical and biological science, we're inching closer to turning this thought into reality. From lab-grown organs to stem cell research, scientists are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. They're exploring uncharted territories, unlocking the mysteries of human biology and redefining the rules of life itself. Imagine a world where organ failure isn't a death sentence, but an inconvenience. A world where we are not just recipients of our biology, but active participants, shaping our bodies to the rhythms of our lives. This is the world we are stepping into. Stay with us as we delve deeper into this fascinating topic. So, what does changing our own organs entail? Well, it's a fascinating concept that's been the subject of countless science fiction stories and films. But it's not just fantasy. In fact, it's a rapidly evolving field of study known as regenerative medicine. At the heart of this concept is the idea of organ regeneration, a process where damaged tissues or organs are replaced with healthy ones, essentially allowing our bodies to heal themselves. Imagine having a heart that could repair itself after a heart attack, or a liver that could regenerate after being damaged by disease. Sounds incredible, doesn't it? One of the key tools in this field is the use of stem cells. These are unique cells in our body that have the ability to develop into many different types of cells. They can be thought of as a sort of cellular wild card able to become a heart cell, a liver cell, or even a neuron in the brain. By harnessing the power of stem cells, scientists hope to be able to guide their development into specific types of cells needed to replace damaged or diseased organs. Another promising technique is 3D bioprinting where biological materials are used to print layers of cell-laden inks to build up a fully functional organ. This could potentially allow us to print a new heart or kidney in the lab, ready to be transplanted into a patient in need. It's a revolutionary concept, but it's not as far-fetched as you might think. Researchers have already managed to print miniature versions of human organs known as organoids, which can be used to test new drugs and treatments. So, in theory, Changing our own organs could involve a combination of these technologies. We could use stem cells to regenerate damaged tissues, or bioprint new organs from scratch. It sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But it's closer to reality than we think. Now, let's talk about why we would want to change our own organs. Imagine a world where the dread of waiting for a life-saving organ transplant is a thing of the past. That's one of the first and most significant potential benefits of changing our own organs. The ability to alter or regenerate our organs could drastically reduce the need for organ donors, effectively eliminating the long, agonizing waits that often end in tragedy for many individuals and their families. Now, let's take a step further and think about the possibility of prolonging life. Picture your body as a machine where worn out parts can be replaced or rejuvenated. With our organs functioning at their peak, we could potentially extend our life expectancy, pushing the boundaries of what we currently understand as the human lifespan. Imagine a world where living to be 150 or even 200 is not just a pipe dream, but a reality. But it's not just about living longer. It's about living healthier. Many chronic diseases and conditions are tied directly to organ failure or dysfunction. Kidney diseases, heart conditions, liver diseases, diabetes, the list goes on. The capacity to change our own organs could mean a significant improvement in the management, or possibly even the eradication of these conditions. Moreover, the ability to change our own organs could open up new vistas in personalized medicine. Our treatments could be tailored specifically to our unique physiological makeup leading to more effective therapies with fewer side effects. And let's not forget the potential for scientific research. By studying how our organs can be changed, we could gain a deeper understanding of how they work, leading to breakthroughs in fields ranging from biology and medicine to bioengineering and beyond. The benefits are immense, but it's not without its challenges. 
The potential for changing our own organs is thrilling, but it also raises a host of ethical, practical, and scientific questions that we'll need to address. But that's a topic for our next scene. For now, let's bask in the possibilities. Scene script. However, like all great advancements, there are hurdles to overcome. Let's delve into the challenges of changing our own organs, an idea that is as fascinating as it is complex. The first hurdle we encounter is an ethical one. If we could modify our organs, who gets to decide what constitutes an improvement? What would stop someone from using this technology for dubious purposes? The potential misuse of such technology could lead to a dystopian future where the value of a human being is based on their biological enhancements. Then there are the health risks. Even the slightest alteration to our organs could have unforeseen consequences. For instance, altering our lungs to breathe underwater could potentially affect our ability to breathe on land. It's a delicate balance, and disrupting it could mean risking our health or even our lives. Another challenge lies in our current understanding of the human body. Despite the enormous strides in medical research, there are still vast territories within the human body that remain uncharted. Our organs are incredibly complex and intricately interconnected. Altering one organ could have ripple effects on the rest of the body. We would need a deep and comprehensive understanding of the human body to safely and effectively modify our organs. The limitations of our current technology present yet another challenge. As it stands, we simply do not have the technological capabilities to make such precise and complex alterations to our organs. It would require advancements in numerous fields, from bioengineering to nanotechnology. Finally, there's the challenge of accessibility. If this technology becomes available, who gets access to it? Would it be a luxury only afforded by the wealthy, or would it be made universally available regardless of economic status? These are crucial questions that need to be addressed. These challenges are substantial, but they're not insurmountable. With careful consideration, rigorous research, and thoughtful regulation, we could navigate these challenges and turn this fascinating concept into reality. So, what could this mean for the future of humanity? Imagine a world where the concept of health is redefined, where aging is not seen as inevitable decline, but as a process we can actively manage. The ability to change our own organs could fundamentally shift our understanding of what it means to grow old. We all know that as we age, our organs don't function as they used to. The heart may weaken, the lungs may lose their elasticity, and the liver may not filter toxins as effectively. But what if we could replace these organs with new, fully functioning ones that we've grown ourselves? Aging could become a less fearsome prospect, and the golden years could truly be golden, filled with vitality and vigor. This could also lead to a drastic increase in our lifespan. As of now, the average human lifespan is around 80 years, but with the ability to replace our aging organs, who's to say we won't live to be 100 or even 200 years old? We could have the potential for a longer, healthier life, not just in terms of years, but in terms of quality of life as well. But it's not just about longevity. The ability to change our own organs could also revolutionize healthcare. Organ transplants, as we know them, could become a thing of the past. No more waiting lists, no more donor shortages, no more rejection of foreign organs. Instead, we could have a ready supply of organs grown from our own cells, tailored to our bodies. Of course, these changes won't happen overnight. There are ethical, legal, and scientific hurdles to overcome. But the potential is there, and it's tantalizing. We're standing on the brink of a new era in human health and longevity, an era where we take control of our own biology in ways we've never imagined. It's a brave new world, and we're just on the cusp of it. So what if we could change our own organs? Imagine a world where the need for organ donors is a thing of the past. A world where we can simply grow a replacement heart, liver, or kidney in a lab or even within our own bodies. The potential benefits of this are mind-boggling, from saving countless lives to making organ transplants more accessible and less risky. However, it's not all plain sailing. There are significant challenges to overcome, such as ethical considerations, technical hurdles, and the need for rigorous testing and regulation. But these challenges 
are not insurmountable. They are simply stepping stones on the path to a future where we can change our own organs. This future might seem like a far-off dream, but it's closer than you might think. The science is progressing rapidly, and the possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless, and the future is exciting. We just need to be ready for it.